Okay, folks, I'm about to use my copper liqueur made with just a copper pipe. And let me get it over here in the light so you can see all that beautiful blue. This is just copper, old recycled copper pipe that's been sitting in vinegar for you know, just regular old white vinegar for uh, probably three months now. So I'm going to go ahead and add this liquid without the pipe to my crock pot that's designated only for dyeing. I'm going to take like half of it. Now I've got a bunch of water in there. Take my broken little, um, I have a broken candy thermometer so I might as well use it for stirring around and wardent. This is cold right now, so I can stir it. If it was super hot, you might not want to... You know what? I feel like I might need more of this. But I'm going to just use this half amount. So this is, this is like a pint mason jar that I have. It's this, this size. I used half of it. And I did not weigh my fiber like I should. But... Um, I'm going to try just half because I don't want to use it all up because it took me forever to make. And then I'll, um, I'll put more vinegar in here to replenish my stockpile. But I'm going to turn this on low and, you know, put the, put the lid on it. And if this fiber turns like a light green, then I will, in an hour, and stays after I rinse it, I'll know that it's fully mordanted um, and you know I might even have a pretty decent color out of it but I'm also going to try to shift that color with ammonia later on now this darker wool this is actually um, mordanted already with lichen it was just a, a real weak uh, water bath lichen it doesn't produce much color so um, I'm just going to go ahead and put copper on it and see what happens I've been told, though, I've read in the book that layering your lichens is very good for um, making it more color fast. So if you have a whole bunch of lichens near your property that don't produce much color at all, then go ahead and just boil it down and use it as a mordant because it's a nice, safe mordant that will, um, you know, it's non toxic, non harming, makes your fiber smell wonderful, and it'll. Um, bind a lot of different colors, particularly other lichens, to your fiber. So I read. I'm, I'll am i have to test it still. But there we go. That's how much I'm going to try to use, and I will show you the results uh, when it's done. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.